My name is Miss Laurel Jones. I work at the Durham County Library downtown, and I'm going to read you the story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, by Eric Carl. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There it is, shining white. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg hatched a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started off to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. There he is crawling out. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four strawberries. But guess what? He was still hungry. He's got quite an appetite. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five oranges. But would you believe it? He was still hungry. Then, he found the remains of a picnic basket in the woods. So on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That's a lot of food. And that night, he had a stomach ache. He ate too much. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf which is what he's supposed to eat, and he felt much better. But guess what? This picture isn't right. Not anymore, because he had become a big bat caterpillar, all grown up. So he built a house around himself called a cocoon and stayed inside, sound asleep, for more than two weeks. Then, when he was ready, he nibbled a quarter of it, pushed his way out, and something had happened. He'd become a beautiful butterfly. Thank you, boys and girls. I hope you've enjoyed The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And if you like the story, you can check it out at the Durham County Library. Have a good day.